Why do we brush our teeth every day? Why do we have different shapes of our teeth? Thank you, Ridwan. That's a very good question. I'm very glad of your curiosity and the question you've asked. Thank you, Maya. Regardless of how old you are, we should all know this topic. Today we will learn how to clean our teeth properly and some basic knowledge of disease. Stay tuned until the end of the video. Assalamu alaikum my dear little brothers and sisters. Welcome to our channel with Ryan and Ridwan. Dental care is a practice of keeping clean your mouth by regular brushing your teeth. Dental care is so important that it could prevent dental disease and bad breath. Let's learn the name of our teeth. We human beings have four types of teeth. The incisor, the canine, the premolar, and the molar. This is how our teeth are set in our jaws. The four front teeth in both the upper and lower jaws are called incisors. Their function is to cut food. There are eight of them, four upper and four lower in the jaws. The pointy teeth besides your incisors are called canine. There are four of them, two on top and two on bottom. Look at the picture carefully. It's very pointy and sharp. They help to tear food. Here is a fact. If you see any animals with pointy sharp teeth, you will recognize that they are carnivore. This is the canine teeth and carnivore eat meat. Next to the canine teeth are your premolars, which are called bicuspid teeth. You'll have eight premolars in total, four on top and four on bottom. We'll need to open a bit wider to see these teeth. Premolars are bigger, stronger, which make them perfect for crushing and grind grinding food. And lastly, number four molar teeth if you open really wide you'll see your molar teeth you have eight of these four on top and four on bottom it also called wisdom teeth molar teeth appears around typically 6 to 12 years of age now we will know why we need to clean our teeth few common teeth problems The plaque. A plaque is a sticky substance made from leftover food particles and saliva that mix with millions of bacteria in your mouth. This bacteria producing acid in the process. This acids attack tooth enamel and can cause it to break down. What is a tooth decay? Cavity, also known as a tooth decay. A cavity is a hole that can grow bigger and deeper over the time. That's a sticky, slimy sub substance made up mostly of the germs that causes tooth decay. What is gingiva? Do your gums bleed when, you're, when you floss or brush your teeth? This is the sign of gingivitis. Include gum tenderness, redness, or puffiness. If plaque from teeth and gums isn't removed by good daily dental care, over time it will harden in a crust called tartar. Once tartar forms, it starts to destroy gum tissue. What is tartar? It's also known as calculus. It's a crusty deposit that can trap stains on the teeth and cause discoloration. It creates a strong bond that can only be removed by a dental professional.
harder formation may also make it more difficult to remove new plaque and bacteria. All the preventions of every single dental disease. Just simply clean your teeth minimum twice a day. Now you know why we should clean our teeth, Ridwan? Yes, my genius, Paya. Let's learn how to clean our teeth correctly. Ridwan will demonstrate how to clean our teeth. Brush, brush, you just press here, look, press it. It turns so fast. And if you want, you can take your regular brush. Brush your teeth with fluoride toothpaste after each meal or at least twice a day. Bedtime is more important. Brush up and down in circular motion. Gently brush your gum as well as tongue. Ask your dentist if an antibacterial mouth rinse is right for you. You can also brush your tongue to help keep your breath fresh. Limit sweets and sugary drinks like soda or juice. It is also important to visit a dentist twice a year. It's not just brushing and flossing that keep your teeth healthy. You also need to be careful about what you eat and drink. Learn how to floss your teeth, which is a very important way to keep them healthy. It feels weird the first few times you do it, but pretty soon you'll be a pro. Slip the floss between each tooth and along the gum line gently once a day. The floss gets rid of the food that's hidden where your toothbrush can't get it, no matter how well you brush. Before toothpaste was invented, we're lucky that we know so much now about taking care of our teeth. Long ago, as people got older, their teeth would rot away and be very painful. To get rid of a toothache, they had their teeth pulled out. Finally, people learned that cleaning their teeth was important, but they didn't have toothpaste right away. People used long ago to clean their teeth with ground up, chalk or charcoal, lemon juice, ashes, you know the stuff that's left over after a fire, tobacco and honey mixed together. It was only about 100 years ago that someone finally created a minty cream to clean teeth. Tooth brushing became popular during World War II. Today, there are plenty of toothpastes choice, lots of colors and flavors to choose from, and some are made just for kids. When you're choosing a toothpaste, make sure it contains fluoride because fluoride makes your teeth strong and protects them from cavities. Now it's quiz time! I love quiz time! 
Pop question time. Question one. Teeth are not only help you to eat, but they also help you to A. Eat. B. Talk. C. Hear. D. Think. Which one is the correct answer, Ridwan? It's B. Talk. Yes, that's correct. It's B. Talk. Question two. What is the part of the tooth you can see above the gum? A. Crown B. Pulp C. Cap D. Cavity It's A. Crown Yes, that's right. It's A. Crown Question 3. What is the name of the tooth that is pointy and sharp? A. Molar B. Premolar C. Incisors D. Canine Which one is it, Ridwan? D. Canine Yes, that is correct. It's D. Canine Very good job. You did a great job, Ridwan. Thank you, Ridwan. You got 10 out of 10. We have learned so much. That's all for today. Thank you for watching our videos. See you next time with the amazing content. Stay tuned. Until the next video. I love it!